So you're gonna load the wrist first. So yeah. feel what that feels like. Right. Now wind it up. Now you're gonna feel like your body flexes down and now just get the left side to turn out of the way. So what your hands feel like right there? Yeah. See where the face is now? Yeah, that's a lot better. Yeah, that's sexy. Yeah. Look at that chest getting out of the way. You can't go fast. Your brain's putting a governor on it to make it go straight. Yeah. So you're not able to just use everything and just rip around and mm. send it. Crash down, okay. and you're gonna get tall on the other side. So okay. you're gonna feel like you're pushing up. Okay. Okay? Oh, Dude, that's so good. You can hit a driver now. I could actually throw some speed at it too. Yeah, you can hit as hard as you want. Wow, that's crazy. So first off, I want to welcome you. This is Rimmick, CEO of Golf. We're out for a quick little lesson here at beautiful Superstition Mountain. I've actually never really seen your swing up close. I've, I've seen a few swings. You look like you're a pretty good player. You yeah. played Division One college golf. Yes, sir. So obviously, you're pretty good. Decent. So, cool, let's, uh, let's get started. Decent at best. Ah, you're, I try to be good. Better than most people. So you're aiming at that orange flag? Yeah, the orange flag there, right? Okay. What's your shot shape? Right now the miss is like a block slice right now. <laughs> a block slice. <laughs> yeah. That's a fun one. <laughs> Mostly with driver. And irons I get like a pull hook, so it's like pretty, pretty ideal, you know? <laughs> <laughs> so you got both, <laughs> but opposites. Pretty ideal shot shot shape that's like my main struggle right now is like like knowing what ball flight i want to hit and like seeing it in my head and being able to like repeat that okay over and over again right now it's kind of sporadic like sometimes i hit a good shot and it but it feels like awful and sometimes i had an awful shot but it feels great so it's like what do you do with that and for the longest time so i got coached by david lover growing up uh-huh and then ever since i graduated high school i just kind of did my own thing in college because um, he taught me kind of like a lot of the basics of like kind of how to swing and whatnot. Uh, so I, I, I've gotten really used to like looking at my own swing okay. and kind of diagnosing myself. But it comes to a point to where it's like it's so hard to like look at your own swing and uh, try to like fix it because you just see the same thing over and over again. And we like, become biased too. Yeah, exactly. A little tight draw that time. A yeah, little draw. Well, let's take a look real fast. I just want to see kind of pattern-wise what we have. Pretty classic setup, kind of lower handle. Club works out in front of you. I've been trying to get a little bit more vertical because before my uh, shaft would kind of run deep mm -hmm. underneath my shoulder line right there. Well, you're succeeding. Yeah. It's really up in front of you. Yeah. Get it down low and pretty outside your hands right here. Yeah. So ideally, what I would like to see right there is the the face a tiny bit more closed and farther behind your hands. Mm -hmm. That would give you a little more permission to keep turning. Yeah. Because what has to happen here is you have to kind of throw the brakes on and throw the head at it. Yeah. Right there. So you could kind of see how that club's wanting to fly by you. Yeah. Would you say that face is like a little open? Like yeah, your club face of, is, it's pretty like open right, right here. Yeah. yeah. It's, it should be kind of pointed more towards the ground, right? A little bit, yeah. Yeah, okay. So it's like you're working the club out in front of yourself yeah a little too much can i borrow the club real fast yeah absolutely. so it's like you're you're out in front of yourself here up and then kind of out in front of yourself like this mm, yeah anytime i see that pattern there's going to be a really good chance of a pull yeah especially if i keep the body going right or well if you blend the two things so if this is going this way and athletically you're going to want to keep the body going so yeah then that's where the ball is going to want to go left or or slice Right, Driver, longer golf open. club, it's going to want to do the opposite. It's going to oh, want to okay. slice. Interesting. So, because this is going to want to keep tumbling with the irons, and with the driver, it's going to be center of mass is farther away from you. It's going to be harder to keep it tumbling, and it's just going to get outside the ball and yeah, slice. Because I have a problem, like, like my, my swing right now doesn't feel powerful at all. Like, it feels very, like, one piece, mm -hmm. I guess. Like, I before, like, I was able to kind of, like, rotate and just like swing my body to create power. But now I feel like when I try to do that, I keep hitting those, like it gets well, further and further right. Yeah, if your body gets going with the face how you have it right now, mm -hmm. you're gonna just hit it that way. Yeah. So that's why you keep tumbling it out farther to try to correct that. What yeah. we need to do is we need to get the, the face in a stronger position and the club farther back. Okay. Then you're gonna be able to turn into it and not fear right. Okay. Does that make sense? Yeah. 
Okay, so let's start with some drills here. Okay. So the first drill we're gonna do, is I'm just gonna have you hinge the club up. Yeah. But feel like the face is kind of pointed down a little bit. Okay. Okay. And then you're gonna turn it up and then let it follow you, hit the golf ball and just hold it like this. If you can't hit the ball straight without throwing the head at it, something's a little off. Okay. Okay. And you're just gonna do it off of a little tee to start with. So you're gonna load the wrist first. So yeah. feel what that feels like. Right. Now wind it up. Now you're gonna feel like your body flexes down and now just get the left side to turn out of the way. Feel what your hands feel like right there? Yeah. So you, ha you haven't had to do anything to shut the face down, right? Right. Just like that. And just hit me some little soft pitches to start with, like to the green flag. That's not the green flag. It's all right. It's getting better. Yeah. So check this out. Okay. See where the face is now? Yeah, that's See? a lot better. Yeah, that's different. Yeah. Now from there, that gives you freedom. You can just keep turning without fear of the ball going straight right. Yeah, okay. yeah, absolutely. With the hands working more in, yeah, the handle like will go left more because that. the head hasn't gone out here. So yeah. you're going to just be able to just use your turn, use yeah. your chest rotation to keep the thing moving. Keep it moving left. Okay. So it's the same thing? Same thing. Okay. We're going to just gradually increase it and then we'll smooth out the motion. There you go. Muy bueno. Muy bueno. Oh yeah. That's nice there. That's sexy. Yeah. Look at that chest getting out of the way. Yeah. The hard part is increasing speed. <laughs> we'll increase speed. This is yeah. how, so the, the, the problem is when the club is getting pushed out away from you like this and the face is open and your body's having to turn off, Yeah. you can't go fast. Your brain's putting a governor on it to make it go straight. Yeah. So you're not able to just use everything and just rip, rip around and mm. send it. So you're, you're a pretty big guy. You ought to be fast. I should be, you know. <laughs> ought to be. <laughs> Those are really good. That's what I want you to feel. So now let's start trying to grow the motion from a dress, but feeling those wrist conditions. So you have a slightly weakish left hand grip. Yeah. So if we're going to leave that alone, your wrist conditions, you've got to get that into a flex state. More flex. It's yeah. got to be somewhat flex. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Should we go to like the orange flag? Yeah. Right now there? you can, now you can hit it to the orange flag. Okay. Still feeling like you're not even releasing it yet though. So you're just going to oh, add velocity. Gotcha. Okay. Right. There you go. You got the face strong enough that time to be able to turn. Oh, is that what that is? Okay. So the first, the first one, my face was a little weak on the it, way down. Yeah, little, your face was open. just a little bit this direction. A little open. Okay. We need to feel it there. Feel it there. Okay. So then you can really pour on the gas with your torso. You gotcha. Can really turn through it. Okay. Cool. Yeah, that's different. Then, yeah, then I could move chest faster, right? Yeah, you can just keep accelerating faster and faster. Take the governor off here pretty soon. Okay. You threw the right hand at it. Okay, what was that? That was this. So you had the face stronger. Yeah, gotcha. But you threw the right hand at it. Okay. You need to feel like that club releases because you're turning the corner, not you're not pushing it out there. Is it almost like the grip is moving up and left? Yeah, it naturally will move yeah. up and left when, when oh, when this. Goes. That's what moves the grip up and left. Gotcha. You don't want to feel like you're moving the grip up and left with yeah. your arms. You want to feel like the armpit is almost going back and. Yes, back, back and, and away from the ball. Back and away. Okay. Like that. that makes sense. There. Nice. Didn't quite catch it on the center of the face, but that was good. Yeah. I feel better. I'm going to interrupt the... Interrupt this broadcast. To take a video of my own. <laughs> cool, oh. that's different. That was good, huh? Yeah. It feels very strange, but it obviously looks way different on video than... Where do you feel that? Your lead wrist or trail wrist? Trail wrist. Okay. You feel it in your trail wrist like this? You're naturally right-handed? Right-handed, yeah. Oh, okay. Makes yeah. sense. That's how I feel it, too. See how that looks? Yeah. That is a lot different right there. Yeah, it's 
see how it's hit with that chest rotation. Yeah. Where when we go back to the, you can see how much you're, you're th like throwing it at it and your arms like, left arms like breaking down like this. Yeah, yeah, I feel like I have to manipulate a lot with my hands in order to square the club face yeah. up. And over here, going through it. Yeah, I could square it up with my chest. Yeah. Right? Well, you squared it with your hands, you just did it way earlier. Mm, I see. With your wrist conditions. Yeah. Does that make sense? Yeah. You can square it with your hands like this, or if the face is open, you can square it by throwing it at it. We want to stay away from the second one. Gotcha. Okay. It's a dart. Yeah, you almost hit the stick. Yeah. Little chip shot 155, right? Yeah. I love it. Stay under the wind there. It's going to hit the stick again. Pretty good. Yeah. I don't know how it looks on for you guys, but it's tougher to get. So do I get there like, so I have my backswing right here, right? And do I try to get there like right here, right? In, yeah. If, into the transition or? You can get there anytime. Okay. I like to get there in my transition. So yeah. as I'm changing directions, I like to feel that little, little bit of extra loading in my trail wrist. Some people feel it like Dustin Johnson, he gets there really early, right? Yeah. Everybody's a little different. Okay. But with your grip, you, we definitely need to feel that face getting stronger because you tend to have it not strong and then getting weaker in the transition. Gotcha. Okay. So it doesn't really matter where it happens, just as long as it happens type of thing? Yeah. Okay. Earlier is easier generally. Less okay. speed happening at that point in time. So it's like right here. Almost. Sure. I, I'd like you to feel it kind of in the transition. Pure, right? That was quite nice. Yeah. It seems like it's a lot less, it's, it doesn't have much like variation between right and left, right? It just kind of goes rather than yeah. rides and then either fades off or, or hooks or, or pulls, you know? Yeah. So check it out. That was nice. Yeah, that's, hmm. that's crazy. I'm like Play Doh. <laughs> Bingo. Because <laughs> now that is like stable city. That was good. That was just slightly toe side. But... Yeah, a little toey. Okay, now let's pump up the like speed a little bit. What's that? I feel like my whole body is like... <laughs> yeah, you're actually turning your chest through. Yeah, like Dustin Johnson kind of thing. They'll try to like hold it off, so... It's not going to happen. Okay. <laughs> fair. <laughs> Very fair. Okay. It's going to start... On... It's already unloading. Yeah, that's true. But as we add more and more speed, it's going to unload more and faster. Okay. Nice Good. little draw. So we got the face where we want it now. Yeah, now we just need to rotate more, right? Now we, I just want to make, yeah, make sure that you feel like this front side of yeah. your chest is getting okay. around. That one you went a little this way. Yeah. A little up. Mm. Just a little left and around, okay. Yep. Yeah, I'd like his right arm to stay under a little longer and a little more bent in it, a little more bend in it longer. Yeah. The speed he's going at. That was good. That was pretty dang good there, though. That was good. That one felt good. This feels drastically different, <laughs> which is good. Thing, yeah. Because it needs to be drastically different. We just had to kill a pattern. Yeah, you might even want to feel the, the, the okay. more square face in the backswing. Okay. Yeah, that face was actually slightly closed, which I like. Yeah. Because then it, you can release we, it totally different from there. You don't have to add any twist. Yeah, we could work on that. Like, we could work with that, you know? I'd, I'd rather have it too strong now than not strong enough. Yeah. You know? It's pretty good. That's just tasty right there. That was really good. I felt that. Yeah. What'd you feel? I felt like, so I was doing like some of the drills that we were doing before, like just right now while you guys were talking, I was like, okay, just get us to right here on the way down. So I was like backswing, then feel like what it takes yeah. to yeah. get like right there. Perfect. And then from there, you just kind of leave it. There you go, just yeah. ro rotate, that's yeah. all. Yeah. Pivot through and the dynamics of your body turning will make the club unload how you want it to and it's not even it's not you that did it it yeah. just happens
Yeah, naturally. Yeah. So I've seen your guys' stuff for a while. And I wanted to get my body and club head to work more together more efficiently. Yeah. Rather than what I was doing is more timely based. That lever is unloading on its own fast at the bottom instead of yeah. being pushed out early. Yeah. So what I'm focusing on is just get right there. Right here. Yeah. So to get to where my lead wrist is a little bit more bowed, my club face is a little bit more shut. I'm feeling that dish in my right wrist, but I'm trying to feel it right here in the transition. That's, that's where I feel it. Yeah. So that drill is nice. Just in terms of like realizing what you need to feel. Because every person's different, right? We all feel different things. Oh, 100%. Most guys with his grip are going to have some of that because your, your lead hand is slightly on the weak side. Mm. So if the lead hand's slightly on the weak side, to square the face how you want it, it's got to get a little there. And then what this hand is doing to get it there yeah. feels like a lot of that. Mm. Generally, if, if you were a blank slate, yeah. I teach a slightly stronger left hand grip because it simplifies hand. a lot of things. Yeah. But it's funny. I've tried to like strengthen it too. And it always just goes back. Yeah. Like no matter like how hard I try to strengthen like that, this feels like honestly on the stronger side, almost a little bit. Yeah. It's not super weak, but it's not. Yeah. It's not strong. Definitely not strong. It's yeah. like a one and a half knuckle grip, two okay. knuckle grip. Yeah. Okay. Well, I've seen enough eight irons. <laughs> That's pretty good. That was flush. Tight curve. The disparity is getting like... Yeah, it's shrinking. Oh, yeah. It's starting to be a nice tight window you're hitting it through. So. Nice. That's good. You want to hit some drivers? Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. I, I want to put Trackman on, though. Get the big stick. Okay. Now we're going to... We're bringing out the big stick here. We got the Trackman out. We're gonna try to hit some, uh, some, get some speed going here. Okay. Uh, right. So let's start with the same feels and just see what that creates. Okay. And then I've got some things I want to add to it. Yeah, just some bunty ones to some start bunty. with. Okay. The drill, or if you want to do the drill, you can. I'll do it a couple of times. Is this a new driver? Yeah, I was gonna say. Um, this is like the new limited edition Mizuno STZ driver. It's like they brought back the white yeah. head. It's really cool. Yeah. Honestly, it looks like the R11 when like you set up. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like an R11 with a kind of some cool graphics on it. Yeah. Different paint job. Pretty All right. Cool. Let's, uh, okay, let's start speeding it up a little now. Yes. So that was a drill. Just really feeling that right wrist again. Now let's try to replicate it. Oh, we got a hook. Oh, the toe banger. It's all right. A little chippy 162 ball speed. Really? Yeah. Oh, I'll take it. Duck snapper. Okay. That's kind of what I expected with the feeling of a face being shut. It might need to be a little bit more open and the ball might need to be a little more forward in a stance. Okay. He's spinning the ball a whole 1400. We'll get rid of that left ball in a minute. It's 165 ball speed. Not bad. Not bad for, you're not even going after it yet. It's a little drill, yeah. So we're already up to almost full speed and <laughs> yeah. not trying very hard. That's a little chippy driver. Now let's start putting the pedal down on here, we're gonna speed things up. Okay. So one thing I want to see, you're a little too low at address. I want you to be a little taller. A little taller. And then I want you to feel as you're winding up, like you're winding up. Okay. Like you're stretching yourself up versus staying down. Okay. Okay? Yeah, yeah. It's like... Yeah, so you're gonna feel like you're getting tall up and to the right a little bit. Okay, cool. And then you'll be able to crash down and then we're gonna reverse it. So let's feel that first. Let's just create the stretch up to start with. Well, you just went 115 club, so that's fast enough to go over 170 if we hit the face. And now we straighten one out. Launch is way too low. Nine and a half. Nine and a half. It's oh. only spinning 1200. The average is 1400 so far. 
And your attack angle is positive too, so it's not like he's hitting down. There's 172. Yeah, he needs more loft. One up and the launch is eight. Base is stronger, it's better. It's just, oh, true. So that's why before you might have gotten away with the nine because you were you had more loft, dynamic yeah. loft with your wrist condition. Right. Now you're more turned down. It's like, whoa, I'm not getting any height. Yeah. Yes. Now this is gonna point the face probably a little more left, so just make sure you kinda this is, settle in. This is at 10, 10.5. Yeah. Okay. That's all right. Second piece of the puzzle I wanna add is just the opposite of what we were doing on the backswing. You're feeling like you're getting tall. Right. Now I want you to feel like you're getting, you're gonna crash down okay. and you're gonna get tall on the other side. So okay. you're gonna feel like you're pushing up. Okay. Okay. Tall, Orange. down, tall. Tall, down, tall. A little okay. better, but still hooky. So that's still spinning 1600. Yeah, it's better though. It yeah, it's higher. I want to watch from here, see why. Move that ball forward like, there we go. Still attack angles two up. Okay, we got one in the air. Hey. <laughs> There's 296 carry. Okay, it's more like it. All right, so I just need to move the ball up, huh? You gotta feel like it's pretty forward. Stretch it up. Good, 71. Little club switch. This is my older driver here. This is a higher launch and shaft. Low spin Tor AD DI6X. Uh, same head, just this one's black on top. Oh God. <laughs> well, we taught him how to hook it. Love that. It's not going right. <laughs> there you go, 175 ball speed. Sold my slice. Let's let him work through some things in his brain. <laughs> I would like to see his alignment change slightly. Hey, that one's spinning plenty. My goodness. You hit this one. You swing faster at this one, just so yeah. you know. Okay. Shorter club, faster. You got it on the green grass that time. He carried it 304. 2200 spin. Magic. <laughs> 75 ball speed. There you go. Okay, neat. The other thing I want to do is with your alignment, I would like your face to feel like it's slightly open and your, your stance to feel like it's slightly less closed because your your feet are pointed right at the black flag on every shot. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. How's my shoulders? Is it shoulders kind everything, of with? Everything's pointed right. Oh, okay. Okay. So you're almost, you're, you're, just... you're crossing your face and your, and your feet are crossing out in front of you. So I just want everything to feel like it's mm. diverging a little bit. So feel like the face is pointing a little bit to the right. Face is right, body's left. Body, okay. A little bit. Yeah. So I'm going to feel like my face is aimed kind of at the black flag and try to aim my body to the target. Yeah. Or even a little open of it. A little open? For a minute. Okay. Well, I made him not hook it. <laughs> That's honestly not that bad of a slice as Oh, I've that had. was good. 2,500 spin. There you go. Yeah. Okay, so. Good. Body a little left. You're right there. You're just square. Really? Yeah. That's better. Okay, so now the next piece of the puzzle okay. is I'm gonna give you a feel here. So set up. So I want you to feel big wind up. Now you're coming, crashing down, so you feel like that. Now from there, I want you to feel like you're throwing the club right through me. More that way. Oh, okay. So everything, body and everything. You've got to feel like you're getting as around like that. Okay. Feel what that feels like? Yeah. Okay. And no curve. Yeah. So I'm feeling. Yeah, that, right? Like this? Yep. Okay. Oh, Dude, that's so good. You can hit a driver now. I could actually throw some speed at it too. Yeah, you can hit as hard as you want. Wow, that's crazy. There you go. That's You're so flying sick. them 300 yards, 114, 171. Wow. There you go. Smash factor 1.5, that's that's elite right there. Sweet, now we're gonna bring it to the course? Now let's take it to the golf course. Sweet. That was fun. Thank you.